I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head, constantly thoughts jumbled around. What is up guys and welcome back with some max level Gatlin gameplay in T3 Arena. Today we're going to take a look at this character, talk about the strengths, weaknesses, and how to play her. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so as always we start off with Free For All. I really like Free For All because it gives me a chance to warm up and to talk with you guys. So this character Gatling is one of the newer characters to T3 Arena and this character kind of has a weird niche. She's not really a meta character but in the correct build for a team composition, meaning if you're stacking, there is a lineup that is effective with her because she does do a lot of damage very, very quickly. This combined with the fact that she gets a speed boost whenever she comes in and out of uber charge mode, or turret mode as I call it, is a useful feature with a shield and healer. She's able to lay down enough damage to burn through shields, but also move quick enough to keep up with the team as a whole. So, why are we taking a look at this character? Well, because I feel like 99.9% .9 of players do not play Gatlin correct. What do I mean by this? Well, let's start with this. A lot of people, whenever they play Gatlin, spend their whole match in uber charge mode. That's the mode you see right here. This is the mode that puts her in a pinpoint accurate turret, and it does a lot of damage and shoots very, very quickly. But this is not the most effective way to play her. Yes, this is the best way to get those long range kills, but you have to remember she also has a normal fire from her rotary gun that is very effective at close range and fires extremely quickly. This character, whenever you combine the two weapons, has 300 rounds of ammunition. And on headshots from the turret, you get seven to 800 damage per round. And if you do the quick math, guys, quick math, Think about it, 800 times 100 is what? Ah, oh, wait, 80,000. Thousand damage potential from this character in turn mode, but then you combine it with the regular fire. From this, you have another 200 rounds at three to 400 damage. If you do that math, that is 160,000 damage per weapon. So you have to remember to use both weapons. Second thing people do wrong is they stay in that mode for a different reason. They think that this is the most effective way to deal damage, and while it is extremely effective, it leaves you incredibly vulnerable because you are moving slower and have a really large headshot hitbox allowing you to be shredded very quickly. But if you transition in and out of turret mode, which I will do here momentarily for you, you get a speed boost. This speed boost does last for approximately a second, and it can be used to cover a lot of ground very, very quickly. Watch what happens once we kill Oh, maybe we don't. But you see what I mean? That little speed boost? That is a big deal. It allows you to get to cover quickly. Use this to your advantage. Don't always turret up. Remember, you are more effective whenever you are harder to hit. Yes, the turret is wonderful. And with the combination of the crippling rounds that you get at level 10, the characters do slow down when you are hitting them. This is huge for your team, especially if you have a sniper, guys. 20% slower target is 20% easier to hit that headshot. So there is compositions where you can run this character, and I would strongly recommend you take your time, play your corners, and play engagements with your team. Do not go solo with this character, or you will be shredded. That is the facts of the matter with Gatling. I like this character a lot. I think she's a lot of fun to play. I want to know your thoughts about her as well in the comments down below and let me know the character you'd like to see next enjoy the rest of this match and check out some of my other videos that come along here we have a bunch that came out recently shell mark labula check them out thank you everybody stay safe and i will see you legends next time bye bye searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, a sea of the aimless i don't want to be one of the nameless i'ma wake up with the mindset that one day i'm gonna make it and i don't think i'll be fine if i don't break my limitations don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory I Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring I Just want a life that is worth every day exploring I My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be yeah, I just wanna be great